I think that if you are a black cop from the community, then you, you owe you owe the community a lot. You know, so so even though like black cops have been a problem since overseas have been, I do know I know for a fact there are there are some black cops, brown cops that they really feel as though they're infiltrating the system. They really feel as though, well, somebody got to do something from the inside. People who really feel that way. And I say with that, you know, organized within that, they have something called 100 Blacks in Law Enforcement, which were uh, cops who got together about certain things. I think that if you are a black cop from the community, then you, you, owe, you owe the community a lot, right? And I just put this out behind the door, you know, by saying greenly, you have to bring the resources and knowledge and um, whatever material you can that is still within the law to help defend the community against what you know is wrong, right? Yeah, nice. uh, your piece is victorious uh, out of uh, East Flatbush, New York. You know, I'm here with I Atomic, uh, filmmaker extraordinaire, one of the big brothers, and doing this militarized racism because the militarized racism has been dealing with us. You know, uh, my contribution through activism has been through organization. It's been through uh, filmmaker, which is our own propaganda, and it's been through self-defense and education. And right now, um, I'm very, very, very uh, I'm honored to be banging on the system right here on militarized racism.